Jeff Fro from Two Hacks Garage. Well, we're back on DZ292. The small block that never was, the little brother of the screaming 302 small block Chevy. Notice the last few videos, we've made a whole lot of headway. And in this video, we're going to make a lot more headway. This video, guys, we're going to go through and we're going to get the cylinder heads installed with the valve train and get all that set up. I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to be pretty fun. I haven't done this in a while, so just going back through the steps of setting the valves and all that is going to be pretty neat. Um, but yeah, you know what? I'm rambling. We should probably get to work, but I'm going to show you what parts we're working with first. All right, so these are 461 casting heads. These are the, I believe, 194, 160 valves. Um, they've got the Elgin Off-Road Z28 springs, retainers, and all that fun jazz. It's been um, drilled and tapped, and it's got studs in it along with guide plates. Uh, these are going to complement this engine pretty well. The original ones on a 302 were the 186 casting 202 160s. These are about the same size CC chamber. So when you do the math, these are pretty much perfect for this type of build. What else do we got going on? Well, to make the job easier, I'm going to be using the Proform valve lash wrench. And, oh, here's my cylinder head uh, bolts. I'm not using factory, using something a little better. I'm using Earl's Racing Products. Yep, Earl's makes head bolts. These are pretty neat. I'm going to be using those. Um, lifters, well, I'm going to be using Comp's Hydraulic DLC lifter. I know the factory one was solid. However, the cam I chose is um, a hydraulic, and the cam specs are very close. So these are the diamond-like carbon coating, and these are going to be pretty neat. I'm going to get those installed. With those, to complement that ISKI cam, I've got stock link push rods um, from um, Proform, and these are better than stock, pretty heavy duty, oil through. And for rockers, I'm staying with the same factory ratio of 1.5. Uh, these are a Proform uh, roller rocker, um, pretty nice setup, and yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on for parts on that. Um, let me show you something real quick. Um, head gaskets. These are Felpro 501 SDs. These are severe duty. These will be a good, good head gasket for this application. But yeah, tell you what, guys, I'm rambling. We really need to get to work. All right, so first thing first, guys, is I'm going to get the cylinder heads installed. Um, long story short, what I'm going to do is a little bit of silicone just right here. It's it, You don't want to put it through here, but just on this ear part, a thin layer, that really helps things seal down. You're going to do it on the front, and you're going to do it here, and you're going to do it here and here. Um, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cylinder head on, and the Earl's head bolts, um, to get the correct reading torque, if you notice on a small block Chevy, you have bolts that go into water jackets. Um, in order to get correct torque readings, I'm actually going to PTFE, Permatex, all of those, um, the reason you want to do that is you don't want any fluids leaking, any of the coolant past those bolts. And the reason you do it on the ones that are blind holes is because you want the same torque reading across the board. So once I get the cylinder heads done, what we'll do is we will start installing the valve train. But with that, guys, I need to get to work. All right, so if you notice a piece of paper in my hand, uh, that's the torque sequence. I don't do this enough to remember it, but one cool tip about this is what you can do is I transpose this from my shop manual, and then I took a silver marker on each head of the bolt, and I numbered it. It's a quick little tip. Like I said, I don't do this every day, and I obviously am not going to remember 17 numbers in a sequence. A lot of people do, but you know what? Not me. So that's what I did is... I got my first torque sequence done at 30. This goes to 70, so it's three equal steps, 30, 50, 70, and I got them numbered. Now I can just go down the line, take care of the rest.
all the cylinder heads are on, torqued down, all ready to go. Next step, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lifters in. And I'm just not going to throw them in there. I'm going to coat some oil on the inside of those lifter bores. And if you remember, when I did the camshaft, I put ISKI RevLube on the cam. Well, I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom of the lifters. So what I'll be doing is taking some of this awesome stuff here and coating it on the bottom of these lifters. Get those thrown in. And we'll start on the valve train. All right, so cylinder heads are on, lifters are in. I went ahead and, well, J3, because I'm J2, my dad's J1. Uh, he got the push rods clean, got those put in, pre-lubed everything, so all the tips. They've got assembly lube on it. Uh, the ARP rocker studs, they have assembly lube on. Oh, sorry, actually, Molly lube on it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and set um, preload on these lifters, and I'm going to go read the instructions, and we're just going to do the base circle method and go from there. We're going to go down one line, and then we're going to go on the other line. Jeffrey, it's math time. Mm -hmm. He's super excited. Should have brought your girlfriend over. She could have helped, right? She's working. She's working. Ah, she's got a job. Someone else needs one. Check that out. Well, Jeffrey learned a valuable lesson on setting valve lash. And uh, he's actually studying right now upstairs for geometry. And this happens to be geometry. Anyway, so yeah, those are the Proform 1.5 ratio uh, roller rockers. Uh, set lash at a half turn, um, which comes out to be about 30 thousandths on these per comp cams recommended um, lash setting on that. So yeah, there we go. Got all that done. And what we were doing at the end there, we were actually checking valve cover fitment. I have two sets of valve covers and I really want to use Holly one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get those on there real quick. I think we might call this a video. See you in a few. Ooh, that's pretty. I dig those Holly valve covers on there, and they fit. Not too bad. The intake's just sitting on there. I think I need to do a little bit of trimming on the valve covers to fit that. Nah, that's be for another day. I'm tired. I need to eat. But yeah, check that out. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so there we have it. We got the heads on, we got all the valves adjusted, we got all that done. I actually got a lot more done than I was planning on doing, thanks to my son, he came out and helped me. It's kind of funny, he was studying for geometry and he was doing something that was related to geometry. So yeah, kind of recap, Felpro head gaskets, um, 461 casting heads that have been completely redone, Earl's head bolts, 
Um, I ended up using DLC lifters, hydraulic. Uh, I ended up using Proform uh, push rods and roller rockers. There are ARP studs in there. Yeah, all that fun jazz. I'm tired. Um, the valve covers are Holly. The valve cover breathers are Holly. Um, the valve cover little retainer clips are Holly. So this is really coming together. The valve, like I said, the intake manifold's not on there. It's just on there for looks to kind of get ahead of the game because it looks cool. Um, but anyway, I'm really tired. So yeah, we set the valves. We're ready to pretty much rock and roll. Probably next video, I'm not 100% sure yet. Still waiting on some parts, but you know what? We're really making a whole lot of progress on this awesome DZ292, the engine that never was but should have been because it's a little brother of that screaming legendary 302. Till the next one, 2X Garage. Have a good one.